The National Cat Club was originally the only governing body of cats. They did hand it over to the Governing Council, who now run the Governing Council of Cat Fancy. This show has been running for approximately 125 years. It's the oldest club in the Cat Fancy. We've been running this show for about 25 years. Sadly, it used to be in Olympia, but as entries have dropped, we couldn't afford Olympia anymore, so we've had to move. Um, judges are invited to judge each section and they always come along, give up their time. They don't get paid for judging, all they get is their expenses. People that come along to visit are obviously cat lovers. They come along to see different breeds. Some people come along because they want to buy a cat, so they want to see what would suit them best. They meet the breeders, they meet the exhibitors, and they can choose what cat they would like to buy. However, they're not all pedigree cats here. Some are just plain, simple household pets, um, which are really beautiful and are most difficult to judge because we haven't got a standard. We have to pick the prettiest, a nice tempered one, and in the best condition. Um, and usually it's not only children that exhibit these, it's older people as well. Table leader then, for the first couple, but I was, I've been working on tables since. Your boobs famous now. Yeah. <laughs> the lady that runs our award system here has been running it for 40 years this year, so we've given her a special award and she brought along cakes for everybody and there was a little celebration. But I said she's been doing it for 40 years and it's no mean task, it's a job I wouldn't like. <laughs> Um, at the end of the day we have a best in show. The seven best cats come along this stage and they all compete for overall best in show. And it will either be a Persian, a semi-long hair, but there'll be one judge going along picking the overall best in show, which is the climax of the show, and they will win this. Oh, <laughs> my